the For Life Challenge. Let's go. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sunshine, she's here. You can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Because I'm Good afternoon, my name is Jordan Mayer, and we are the 4Life team from Morel Dobbin CTE High School and the creators of the 4Life Challenge. We chose the challenge by Ezekiel Emanuel to enable people of all ages to bring four habits into their daily lives. Regular exercise, good nutrition, emotional balanced health, and community volunteerism. Hey, sorry. My name is... Oh, yeah, sorry. Hello, my name is Heaven Thomas. Phys the problem is physical exercise, any physical activity that involves fitness, health, and wellness, like walking, running, and dancing. Exercising for three times a week just for 30 minutes can improve your body enormously. This can improve the obesity rating through, through exercise. Philadelphia has the second highest obesity rating among the 10 counties, according to a 2009 report by the CDC. Hello, my name is Saida Nano, and our mission is to promote the benefits of regular exercise throughout our community. Um, we had went to four schools to promote daily exercise. Um, we taught the students what exercise was and how to do it. We also taught them um, a, a four-minute uh, warm-up, which we taught them a four-minute warm-up, which can start their day or end their day on a positive note. We also um, had hold of Get Fit Saturdays, where children and adults can do cheerleading, track, basketball, and yoga. My name is Jordan Urquhart. Emotional balance health is the ability of the mind and body to maintain equilibrium and flexibility in the face of challenges and changes. People who are emotionally balanced are aware of and in control of their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Based on a study by the Anxiety, Anxiety and Depression Association, depression is a leading cause of disability in the U.S. among ages 15 to 44. So to improve the health of our emotion, to improve the emotional balanced health of our community, we reached out to four different schools and spoke to over 400 students. During the visits, we talked about what it means to have a good emotional balance and how to maintain it. We also opened up our doors on Get Fit Saturdays for anyone who wants someone to talk to. My name is Ivy. Good, good nutrition can help individuals achieve general health and well-being. Which can help prevent disease, which can help individuals from disease. The problem we face in our community is that, junk, is that adults and kids prefer junk food over healthy food. The unhealthy foods are also less, less expensive than healthy food. There's corner stores everywhere you go. As a result, approximately 67.9% of adults and 41% of the youth ages 6 to 17 are overweight or obese by the, by, based on a report by the CDC. Hello, my name is Siani. Our solution to nutrition is to adjust the problems of nutrition in our community. We are currently partnering with the Food Trust organization to help get more healthy foods in our community. After asking a simple question of several different classrooms, we asked, how many of you eat unhealthy foods by the healthy foods? We found that 80% eat unhealthy foods by the healthy foods. My name is Teron Bullock, and I help with the volunteer part. Volunteering is when someone takes in or undertakes a task freely. And volunteering can also help the volunteer reduce stress, combat depression, and also help their community. And help their community. And also we found out that in the studies that 19% of under the age of 18 uh, youth volunteers. Hi, my name is Jeremiah. Our mission is to promote community volunteerism that benefits us as a whole. We took on this task by volunteering at four different schools to educate children about good health. With the Help of the Eat Right Now program, we also educated our community about good nutrition. We asked Dobbins teachers and students to help us give out free haircuts, manicures, and facials. At our Get Fit Saturdays, we surveyed participants, and we found that 
there, there was a 12% increase in eating healthy foods, a 21% increase in exercising three times a week, and 12% increase in balanced emotional well-being. And we also created an Instagram page to share our message where people could tag themselves with the hashtag for life challenge and get fit, I mean, hashtag for life challenge. And together we are the for life challenge. Okay. <laughs> Y'all throwing signs, judges, give it to them. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, Get Fit Saturday. Get Fit Saturday, yeah. Does that happen every Saturday? How often does it happen? It happens every Saturday, and we're also um, bringing more stuff to our Get Fit Saturdays. Right now, we have ch children's cheerleading, yoga, track camp, and Check It Up, which is a basketball program. And anybody in the community can come? Yes. We, we are a community school, so anybody in our community can come. All right. Thank you. Nice job, guys. That was, that was a really great presentation. Um, is there one example, like one specific example you guys can give that you're really proud of to watch someone really take to this and, and take steps forward? Yes, actually. Um, to see that, that the kids actually started to do it, put a smile on our face like we actually saw that our message was being reached and they actually like to exercise and they like to learn the new things we we're telling them about emotional balance health and eating healthy foods instead of going to the corner stores and tell them that coming to our school to volunteer is actually good and we saw that the rates increased from the first get fit saturday to the next ones that kept coming more kids started to show up and show up so we saw that our message was actually being reached and it actually helps the children so this is pretty personal to me because I was pretty obese a year ago. And um, so the importance of nutrition you just talked about. Um, there are, I don't know if you know it, there are food deserts around Philadelphia, within Philadelphia as well. And uh, have you tackled those school around those areas? Because those areas do not have access to healthy foods and they have access to corner store which serve chips and all that. So, you know, those are the most important places with, where they want to get healthy food. It's either too expensive or it's too, you know, it, it, they don't have access to it. So through exercising, um, you also have to watch out for nutrition. So have you guys tackled these kind of problems? Um, we're currently in the works with the Food Trust organization, which is an organization that goes out to corner stores and tries to get the store owners to put more healthy stuff in the front of the stores so, and make it less expensive so people can actually get access to it. And we also are in works with them right now. They, uh, they also come down to our Get Fit Saturdays. How many folks are participating on the Saturdays? Um, at the Check It Up, it's about... 30 kids in the gym, but in our cheerlead, children's cheerleading, it might be about 10, but I'm not sure for track. For yeah, the, track the track had about like four to five participants, but there's like more to come every Saturday. Right. Just wanna thank you for the gift packages yeah. and, and, oh, yeah. and great pens. And, and also, what's been one of the one thing that was most exciting for you that you've learned in this whole process? Um, the most exciting thing that I learned was teaching kids how to actually do cheerleading because I was taught cheerleading. So me and Jordan, we when we taught them, like most of them were nervous, they were scared and stuff like that. So we br brought them out of their comfort zone. And that is it. Thank you so much for Life Challenge. Good stuff. Good stuff.